Eat this. Got business here? Eat this.
Well, it's about damn time. What took you? Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old, and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, and old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. Uh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Things were better back then. What do you want to know? Ha. <laughs> I'm not saying. It's part of my mystique, after all. The truth of it is that I did cut out a raider's heart, but only took a bite to mess with his buddies. They had me surrounded, and I went with the first thing that came to mind. Some ran, and the rest were startled just long enough. Sure do. Had a wife for a while. Tribal girl. Really pretty eyes. But she's been gone a long time now.
buddy, spare a cap. I can make it worth your while. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're... Drugs are everywhere in Freeside, and even people you might not expect have become addicts. Jacob Hoff, for instance. That man was a brilliant chemist before he picked up the habit. Now, just another junkie. That King Pacer's a fan of Jet, too. Though I heard one of the followers talking about it being dangerous for him. Something about his heart. Do yourself a favor and stay away from that stuff, okay? That one was pretty good, right? I've heard people passing through mention some kind of underground fights pitting creatures of the waste against one another for sport. And when I say underground, that's their word I'm using, not my own. That one was pretty good, right? I heard something about a town south of here being attacked, but details are sketchy. All I know is there haven't been any refugees showing up here. Which means either the attack wasn't too bad, or it was very, very bad. What do you say? Want another tip? If you've been around the Kings, you may have met one of them named Pacer. He's always stomping around trying to show off his authority. Being new, you weren't around when it happened. But a few months ago, Pacer pissed off the Van Graaff family big time. No one knows what went down, but word is the Van Graaff still want him dead. I got more where that came from. Want another? Have you been to Mick and Ralph's yet? They run a store just down the street and sell some things you might not expect. What do you say? If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got... Another satisfied customer. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and... Another satisfied customer.
Thanks. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph's. Hey. Yeah? The king controls the water pump. If you want water, you... If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down. Gotta have some way to rake. Another petitioner for the king? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? What, do I look like a beggar to you? Look who's back. You know what? I think... Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my men tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. up. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick and Ralph. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. 
We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I... Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare We've got you. Stuff. We're they not don't even outnumber you five to... Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Huh? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. Stay close. Don't distract, don't distract me. I need to focus all my senses on keeping you safe. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. All right.
What do you have for me? Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good, I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some inf- What's up? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Hey. I ain't got any... What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. Reason to talk to you. Scram. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. What's your problem? If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. We 
We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick and Ralph. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside Essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's. Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside. Just come see me when... like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? That meal's still available, but only to NC... And that... That meal's still... A now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizen. That's a good attitude. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got... I'm sure some don't, but the loyal ones do. Still, you've got a fire in you that tells me you're one of us and just screwed up. So I'll let you take the test. No need to get angry about this. Look, I'll let you take the test again if you... Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best...
to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Hey, what? We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the atomic. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain out. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph. Hold up, what's... If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the... No, I'm afraid we don't. Yes? Yes. I'm a major in the supply. Like I said before. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Our envoy was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with... Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table is
Welcome to the atomic... Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly... They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make... How's it going? Welcome to the... It Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The pro... You best... Rooms are just... We've got liquor. Welcome back. What? Sure. Hello. Welcome to the Atomic... I'm a... Here... Had... Welcome to the atomic rank. Pull up a stool and join the game, buddy.
Try your hand at blackjack. Welcome to the atomic... In what currency would you like your payout? Gaps? So... Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapons. Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, so do everyone a... You're a bastard after my... Why, you lit... You're just lucky I got something important. Hey. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. What's up? Alright. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. Your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no. Then he should watch his back. Still. If the king's willing to deal with us? The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. You want someone dead? Really dead? Hey. 
I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only Things have been a lot better. I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He... He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his... I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex, your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. and Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Hi, do you need assistance? Rex? It breaks my... Yes, a few months ago. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far... Nope. That's phenomenal! Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our calves back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shop. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler had you covered. Hey. 
Welcome back. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today. As a Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even... Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our... We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. How's it going? Welcome to the Atomic... Pull up. Dueling. Enjoying the game, buddy. Welcome to the Atomic. I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed. Then you're not. Welcome to the silver. I'm afraid I'm going to have. There. I've stole all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. The bosses are having a meeting. Mr. You'll have to Soren, wait until it's over. Please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to... Wonderful. I already have a man... He's been with the family for years, so... Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your... Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, 
but with a kick to match. So, what'll it be? Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capitalist vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Settle in. You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? If that's the case, then I guess I'll go spend my money elsewhere. Wow. You're a real people person, aren't you? Looks like that guy is headed this way. Don't screw it up. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Hey! Hell, do you suppose that was a... Bow. Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with a corpse out front. 
crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, Rookie. Things are about to get interesting. Simon, how's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. We can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. There's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and... Simon's been telling me how you had a little bit of a hard time following instructions, but didn't do too bad overall. Here's your pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience. And However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. That said, try not to dawdle. Eat this. Can't run from me.
You're mine.
Are you the Van Graaff? Do you have... Ah. Then... We've already concluded our business. I suggest you return to your employers. Spotted. Welcome, sir, or...
Welcome to the new vac- If you've got the cat- I have several basic implants available that can enhance- I've also got two much more expensive implants. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wound- One other thing I forgot to mention. Your- The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. I can implant the Hypertrophy Accelerator for 4,000 caps. It will boost... Have a seat in the auto... You're back. It'll be easy. Take. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to... Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler... Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or... And? Good. Good. Oh, Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help. Ah, just the person I was... My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? No, no, no. That's not... All right, then. If we're going to work together, recently Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you've probably seen. A Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end to do that. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her. And I'm starting to feel.
My mic hasn't been working at all. Oh my god. I... Mmm. Okay. So it should my be mic working hasn't now? Been working at all. Oh my god. Much more expensive implants. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wound... One other thing I forgot to mention. Your... The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to... Wow. See, this is... That's why I don't like you YouTube chatters, I swear to God. If, the, if, if you think there's something wrong with the stream, say something, man. I can implant the hyper Especially y'all that have been in here a few five. times. Hot huh, fuck. No one want to tell me that my mic's fucking up? No one want to tell me I'm being a little quiet? Huh? You gonna stick in here for like six minutes, me not say anything. You know I can't keep my mouth shut for six minutes, let alone 30 seconds. The fuck y'all on? Oh my god, I've been... I have been streaming for two hours. It's like, no, nothing I have said has reached your guys. Well, I got two hours worth of jokes now that I guess just... Well, that was... I hope you guys have enjoyed the silent playthrough of New Vegas so far. We're doing Honest Hearts, by the way, once we're done with this crap. Apparently, I, that was not vocalized before. Um, yeah. Fucking, ugh. You're back. That's annoying. Ugh. Yeah, I, I... Fucking hell. That, that's really annoying. Okay, do you know where she Fuck is? No. If I knew where this bitch was, you'd think I'd be asking you. Still, there's someone who might. Old Alice McLeod. She keeps tabs on Caravan Trap. Why don't you do it? Count me out. Already... Nope. Man, I don't want to do this. God. We're in this shit too deep now, I guess. Welcome to the Crimson. Um, looking for Cass. Coincidentally, I'm also. I believe Cass frequents the Mojave outpost far south of here. Okay. Goodbye. Good thing I've already been to the Mojave Outpost. Okay. If, if we can solve this with a quick bunch of fast travels, that will be awesome. Hey. Ugh. What's Looking up, Cass? Trouble? Uh... No, only looking around. I'll keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawker. How about a drink instead? How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking I like this chick. All sorts of trouble back I like this chick already. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. What are you trying to forget? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Why the hell would my they do that? Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Oh. It's locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans <laughs> in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Well, uh, who's Jackson? NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Carib- 
wanted to ask you something else. Um, or meet with you. Jean Baptiste. Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. He's with the Van Graffs. Van Graffs or Gra I Van Graffs. Know the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff. Don't have any That's the one. speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs. Um. Why are you here at the bar? Whiskey and me are old friends. Got me into the caravan business, you know. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my. Well, I'll be going. Beep. Uh Me. You come around like a Uh interested in following Not me to Freeside? To if you were looking for someone to care Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I gotta... Okay, well, we'll do that. Once we're done with this. Wish I had a friend. Ah, let's go start this DLC two hours into this goddamn stream. Someone left a like and who? Who left a like and wasn't gonna tell me my mic was working? Absolutely insane. Where is this northern passage at? This looks northern passagey. What's up? Now do I need to talk to you? How do friends? Let's do it, Zion. Looks Here like we come. That, huh? <laughs> you got guts. We're both set. Let's go. I bet you are. Um, what's the situation well, like? It ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Okay, um, warlords, how dangerous, dangerous enough, are they? We won't be going near them if we can help. Okay, had some other questions. Uh, that's all for now. Are you here to jar at me a while long? Um, let's go. I bet you are, but we only got room. You have to leave your friend behind, okay. Bone. Talk to him. What is it? Um. Were you a bitter springs? A what happened there? Let's 
Let's part ways for now. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while. Are you here to... All right, let's go. You know, we ain't coming back this way. I don't want no whining about old... You sh uh, not only could I carry my own gear, I can carry yours, his, and one of your Brahmins. <laughs> I'm ready you to sure go to Zion. Yes, yeah. I'm sure. Oh. Let's go. I didn't know you could use the strong back perk to just be like, hey, yo, nah, trust me, what I have on me is fine. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open. And listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Hold on, making sure. Yeah, okay. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites. They were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be. So he chopped off his testicles, threw him from a plane, and called him a. And thrown into the Grand Canyon. Called him a shiny squid, I don't know. Didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new king. Yeah, shut your bitch ass up, Stella. We've got the map. Goddamn woman. You think you know better than us, the man? Get moving and keep an eye Is that a plane over times? there? Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Radex, healing powder. Sorry, I'm uh, looting all your guys' stuff. Don't mind me. I don't deserve this. My pit boy don't even work. Why Shut the fuck you hire me? Might as well be waving at him. Stay low. Oh. 
You know, I think... Now, this is just a thought. But I think you guys shouldn't have come out here. I think you were severely outmatched. Hey. Probably do actually want a rifle of some kind. That's a shotgun. Uh, where's healing powder? Stim pack. There we go. Quest failed, a rite of passage. Oh, follows chalk? Fuck, I was supposed to friend you, wasn't I? Oh well, follows chalk is dead. Um, well, uh, what, what do I do now? I'm not afraid to fight a bear with a chainsaw. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. Hey, a bigger Yao Guai. Oh god. Oh god. Where's my psycho? Medics. Oh. You discovered the spine. Hollow log. Ooh. Well, what the hell was the point of... There's something up here? This looks like awfully walk up a bull. Should just be not... Okay, I about fell to my death there. Okay, well, um... The bears are down.
Or where to now? Um, can I get on the other side of this rock again? Oh, hello. I don't think we're making it back up there. Why does everything here hurt? You don't hurt. What's this? Oh, forty five. Yeah. We got ourselves in 1911 now, boys. Things are looking up. Okay, well that enemy must be somewhere up there. Good God, my accuracy sucks. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. White leg mongrel, is there like an actual bandit around here then? Come on then, punk. Bring it. Oh, there's a couple of them. Horses stalker armor. You know, this is something. Why, why does this give me more damage resistance than my other armor?
Didn't mean to sit. Um... Whatever. It'll work for now. Ooh. Gun cabinet? Hell yeah. Locked gun cabinet. What's in this one? Why did... Okay. Whatever. Hunting shotgun. Oh, and I paid so much for that one, too. Yeah, I know it's in poor condition, but look at it. Ah, oh, it is beautiful. Okay, um, we heading across the river then? Uh, would look like it. God. Just gotta be enemies everywhere, huh? Come on then, fuckers. Show me what you got. Where'd he go? There's the lizard. Folded. Man. Um, you guys think it was a bad idea killing Follow Shock immediately? Because I swear I didn't mean to. I just pissed him off. And then, you know, one thing led to another, and now he's a corpse. Oh, well. If we needed him, the game wouldn't have let me kill him. Oh, you guys are hostile towards me now? Is it because I killed Follow Shock? Okay, um... Hold on, hold on. I have, a, I have a weapon for this. You guys are a bit close. That's it. Super stem pack. Eat some sunset sarsaparilla. Have some Yao Guai meat. Some Psycho. And some Jet. That's it. Hit me. Hit me. Get back here, bitch. How? How do I suck this bad? It is a lever action. Like... Dude, hit her. 
Even in vats. You can tell this is a melee build. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's only like three jobs I can't do. School teacher, coroner, and veterinarian. Too much temptation. What's good flop? Um, not any of your comments. Ever. And that is a fact. Jesus. And also, um, yeah, they really don't... Uh, note to self, the natives don't like it whenever you kill their, uh... Kill their fellow natives. I know they want me. They want my ass. I just don't know where they are. That guy doesn't seem to care. Someone over here cares, though. Oh, Daniel? Fuck out of here, Daniel. I. Daniel was a little bitch. He had a cool hat, though. Wait, hold on. Is that a whole ass, like... I'm... Actively running out of shit to use, game. Um, he has no idea where I'm at. Is that a whole Thompson? Yao Guai Gauntlet. That sounds like that does damage. God, we have actual stuff to eat. Uh, ass, and you don't know where I am. Dude, that, that is what frightens me about you. That is precisely it. Um, holy shit. This armor does not last long at all. Ugh. I've already slaughtered, like, everyone here, Joshua. Listen, there is really no point in you being here anymore, man. Huh? Ugh, oh, thank God. I don't care. I need stuff. I don't care if it's bad to steal, okay? It's me who's stealing, so it's not bad. Good morning, America. What's up? Good morning, Miss Mr. Mussolini. That is that is Benito Mussolini the second. Holy shit. Um, I, I should have read that name a bit more carefully the first time. <laughs> I was like, huh? That uh, that is a strange message. He must be an American dad. He is not an American dad. Where is this arrow telling me to go? Oh, 
I'm just gonna assume it means up and in here. Recover the map of Zion Canyon. Hey, look, the Zion Canyon map. Leave Zion and return to the Mojave Wasteland. Is it really just that? It's not that easy. It's it's not that easy. Hello. I want your Yao Guai Gauntlet too. Thank you. Damage 3151. Okay, so ours hits a lot harder, but theirs hits faster. Uh, how about you turn on your face cam and we get the chat to see a little piece of eye candy? Okay. Uh. Give me just a second. Is that? Oh, is it up here I'm supposed to go? Or is it really just... Hold on. Well, holy shit. Um... What do we got down here? I was... Um... Piercing strike, yes please. Uh, alright. Uh, you guys are gonna have to look at my desktop for a little bit while I do this, but sure. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully this is in a good position when I turn it on. Boom. Face cam. And it is really not. Boom. Uh, yeah, I don't have a curtain on the window back there. This is a little blinding here. I'll take my glasses off so you guys can actually see my face and not just see... Like a reflection on my eyes. Um, is it window capture? Hey, look at that. Ugh. Okay. The haunting part, too. Yeah, it, it doesn't look near as bad during... Uh, the day whenever the only light from the screen isn't that pale green ghostly glow from Fallout 3. <laughs> um, hold on, I want to... I'm trying to think. Does anything really appear in the top right of the screen? Because a fair amount of stuff does appear in the top left. I guess our AP and our ammo and our stuff's really the only thing in the bottom right. Oh, and then I just... I guess we could... How's that? There we go. I'm not really using vats a whole lot, so that doesn't really matter, you know? Uh, our item condition's down there, but you guys can see the bottom of the bar when it gets low. Uh, you can tell me whenever I'm fucking up. I can't believe... 
if, if do you really if if you just kill like follow trucks at the beginning or whatever What? What about Joshua Graham? <laughs> uh, that, that's a man I need to meet, isn't it? Is it really possible to skip this whole DLC by doing this? I mean, granted, we don't, if, if we don't do anything, like, well, that's Whitebird's cave, or am I, am I just, if I try and leave, will someone try and stop me? I mean, I've killed everyone here who basically isn't Joshua Graham. I didn't even get to meet him. I accidentally shoot follow cho uh, follow shocks at the beginning, and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. Can't believe this. Or is he in that like back area? <laughs> Not just the men. Dude, it was an accident, I swear. I I swear to you, it was an accident. I did not mean to murder that man. If if, if I don't get to do like any of the honest hearts DLC because of this, I'm actually gonna be kinda mad. Yo, what's up? Um, well, a little rundown, I accidentally punched an Indian in the face, and now I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this DLC. <laughs> like, just gonna lay it out there. Um, though, I could just be stupid. What's in this cave? Whose cave is this? Half Mouse Cave. That's not racism. That's just what he. That's just what he was. He was an Indian. Like, what do you want me to say? Are you gonna be hostile towards me? Hello. You know where I can find Joshua Graham? Mr. Graham, please. I have a message. Reload the save, bozo. Yeah, that was so long ago, and I don't know if I have a save there. That's the thing. <laughs> that was the last time I quick save. That was so long ago. Ah. What, what, what's here? If I load from here. Damn it. Is there really just nothing else for me to be done? Like, I just... 
I have to go now. Like, and th then I just leave. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. <laughs> the courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. With Daniel dead, the White Legs soon overran Zion and drove the sorrows and dead horses from the valley. <laughs> the White Legs plundered all of the pre-war buildings the sorrows had marked off limits. Their squalor an affront to Zion's natural beauty. By year's end, little trace remained that the sorrows had ever made the valley their home. What the Already fuck? Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the happy trails care. Yeah, whatever. Bullshit. We're. I guess we're going all the way back here. Have I even gambled? I've gambled a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I haven't talked to this guy yet, even. Damn. Are you the Van Graft? I am. Where's the payment? Uh. Alright. Never mind. It's right here. Well. That's Fallout for you. I wasn't saving often enough, and I got myself screwed. Good man, Boone. Well, um, well this time I think I'm going to spend my caps on a different kind of, uh, on a different enhancement. I think we're gonna go with the endurance implant instead of strength. I think that's gonna help us a lot more. I can find the fucking building. I found it once, damn it. I can do it again. There it is. Easy as, easy as. You. Wait, where are they? You. Wake up from- Welcome to the new- Yeah, 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 whatever. What implants do you got? I want to buy one. Uh, increase the my endurance. Regulator. Yeah. And now we're more durable. Alright, Boone. What is it? Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. We should talk. We what should part it? way. It's not goodbye. Alright. Guess I'll be. See you later, Boone. Uh, can I sleep in any of these beds? That does not cure my radiations, though. You're back. Uh, yeah. Here's the caps. See you later, loser. Uh, I'm gonna ways them off to work, but to uh, fuck with you, would you rather quack like a duck or squeal like a pig? Uh, I mean... I think I'd rather quack like a duck. Squealing like a pig's kind of annoying. Now we're gonna go back to the gun runners and rebuy stuff, I guess. God, my hair is just not it today. SMH. Welcome, sir. 
Show me what you got, bot. Okay, um... I need to go somewhere and buy armor before we go as well. Like, we need armor bad. I don't think we really need the chainsaw either. Um... Yeah, you have any 4570? That's what we need. Um Yeah, hold on. Where was that at? Okay, um, I need to buy armor for some place or something. Let's go ahead and head to the strip and I guess gamble a little bit before we go back to that DLC because things were kind of uh, having their way with our booty right. holes. How do we get to the actual strip? I haven't been yet. Um, if it can be bought, it can be founded. There we go. There it is. I'm not a broke heathen, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm not one of those poles. I have 6,800 caps sufficient for this, for this profane pressure. check of my wallet. I submit to the credit check. I'm not broke like this guy. Hey, partner. Howdy. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Thought you were destroyed. Do I look destroyed? I wouldn't be much use stuck inside just one Securitron. No, Fair enough. The one I'm in turns up a goner. I just... Where do I start? The started is locked at 30. That's where you find Mr. House. Okay. We'll see. Nope. The house always wins. I. What? Oh, uh, one, probably, not I. Also, is it appropriate to say that to the town of Agua Fria wrote a stranger one fine day, hardly spoke to phones around him, didn't have too much to say? Uh, I'd say that's pretty fair. I mean, no one. No one dared to ask his business. No one dared to even make a slip. 
for the ranger Zane was deadly with a big iron on his hip. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay. You'll get. What do I have holdout weapons wise? This is this is good information. Nothing. Nothing. We have no holdout weapons. Okay. Let's Hello? play blackjack. Damn it. Alright. Welcome to Gamora. Caps for chips. Yep. Goodbye. Ah, let's play. Max bet. Max bet. Now deal me in. Uh, hit me. We're gonna stay. Just that easy. See. Look at that. King and an ace. Right out the rip. Uh, fuck it. We're gonna double down. It always pays off. It always pays off. I'm gonna run this place for all it's goddamn worth. We're gonna stay. That's 20 right there. Ah, oh, damn. We actually lost? What is this? That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. Double down. What is this bullshit? No, no, this is supposed to be in my favor. Hit me. Fuck it. Hit me. 11, 12, 17, 19. We're gonna stay. Ugh. Double down. God. The gambling will pay off. Oh, damn straight, I feel lucky. No, I'm not done yet. Go boot me from the table. That was just a... Why are we, why are we gambling with such low caps? Come on. Double down. Um, fuck it, double down. Damn it. Hey, never mind, it worked out. Uh, hit me. Hit me again. 21, baby. Damn. Come on, I want to run this place for all it's worth. Hit me. We're staying there. We're staying right goddamn there. I may be lucky, but I'm not drawing ace on top of that lucky. I am drawing eight on top of a 13 lucky, though. Let's go. We're going to stay right there. Eleven. Double down. Why not? No, we ain't done yet. Come on. Not in, not until they tell me I can't. Not until... Not until I can't. Not until they literally throw me out on the streets. Well, I will continue gambling. Uh, hit me. Hit me again. Uh, 
We're gonna stay right there. Dude, beautiful. Double down. Stay right there. Quit breaking even with me. Listen, this is gambling. I always win. What the fuck? See? I always win. Get it through your thick skull. Double down. Double down. Man, who knew that gambling could be this easy? Finna try it out IRL. You should. It's it's just that easy. Just go play blackjack. It's watch, hit me. See, look at that. 12, 7, 19, and we're gonna stay right here. Double down on that. Dude, at this rate, I'm gonna pay off my son's fucking college debt that I don't have. Double down. <laughs> it's just that easy. When are they gonna kick me out? Hit me. Only I could drop a th drop a three on top of that eighteen right there. I mean, and then pull up with a king and an ace. Get that immediate twenty-one. No one else in the whole Mojave could do that. You know what? Hit me. Damn it. <laughs> I was feeling cocky. I, w I was so feeling the the easy twenty-one there. Hit me. Hit me. Bro, the debts in America be crazy, though. Luckily, in my country, school and shit is free. Hell yeah. God. Uh, double down on that shit. I'm over 10,000 chips now. Are they not gonna... You have been banned from gambling at this casino. Okay, that's that. No more games for... Go have rob the drinks, tops. Talk to some dance. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome I'll get out of here. Um, I need to turn in, in my chips. Goodbye. <laughs> well, we've been kicked out of one casino, boys. Ah, uh, ain't that beautiful? Ain't that swell? It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go get kicked out of another, shall we? Hey, hey, fellow. Uh, sure. Here you go. Oh, now the. Goodbye. Hello. See, you see that guy over there? That's the one who shot me in the head at the beginning of the game. But I'm gonna play blackjack. Damn it, I gotta purchase chips. Why do I always forget this? Where do I purchase chips at here? See up here? Yeah. Welcome to the tops. How? Uh, change. Caps for chips. You know what? We'll start with a hundred this time. Instead of just starting out straight ahead with a thousand out the gate. Max bet this shit. Deal me in. Hit me. Hit me. All right, increase that bet. Deal me in. Para Kings, beautiful. Gambles until gets kicked out. Leaves with life saving as it caps. Goes to another one, <laughs> bro. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're picking up the fallout strategy now. This is why we have a ten in luck. 
And yes, your luck does affect your card rolls and shit. It also affects the slot machines and everything. Ah. <laughs> uh, double down on that. Uh, 15, hit me. 18. We're gonna stay. Damn. Kings. Nice. Hit me. Hit me. You know what? We'll stay. Double down on that shit. Ooh. Uh, eight and an ace. Double down. Damn. That, that was like the dumbest thing I could have done there, by the way. I was just praying it would work out. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Look at that. Like, it just, it just pulls a 21. Just like that. Double down on that shit. 17. Fuck. Hey, we still won. Double down on that. 10 or 11s, we just double down on. Uh, wait, so how much is like an ace, a king, etc., since some of us don't have numbers on them? Um, okay, so an ace is worth 11 or 1. Uh, uh, your goal is to hit 21 without going over. Uh, every other face card is worth 10, just like a 10 is. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. See, that's 9, 11. We're gonna stay. Damn. Stay. Uh, double down on that shit. And we got some ballin' ass music going too. Jingle, jangle, we see you. Ain't you glad you single? And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, let it down. Ah, nothing like gambling and a little bit of good old fashioned music. Uh, hit me. You guys think we can pull a three? That works. <laughs> Double down on that shit. I didn't say I was done. Only I say when we're done. Hit me. Fucking beautiful. Um. Double down. Yeah, let's go. The easy 21. Double down on that shit, too. I'm, I'm just the best goddamn gambler this side of the Mississippi, baby. Hit me. Ooh, that's 11 right there. Hit me. Just beautiful. Just absolutely goddamn beautiful. I just imagine the dealer at the table being like, bro, you won more caps than the casino has ever made. Get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, double down on that shit. Damn it. Hit 
There, I have more caps than I will ever need in my goddamn life. Except I don't. Baby, Lady Luck must be smiling at you today. Compliments of the Tops Casino. Enjoy this fine meal and please keep playing those games. Will do, will do. A Brahmin steak. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Um, now if you'll excuse me, you're interrupting my gambling. It's nine. We'll stay there. Uh, hit me. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to stay there. How are there this many face cards in this deck? That's all I'm going to say. Like... I just drew all four kings within like three hands, okay? And watch how quickly another king shows up. Um, hit me. Hit me again. See, there's the fifth king. I have so many face cards hidden up my sleeves, it's insane. Uh, hit me. Oh, uh, yes, you gambled so well. Here's a personal prize 20 minutes later. Yeah, nah, you won too much. You're banned. Like, the fuck? Oh, well, exactly. They, well, they want me to keep gambling, because right now they're genuinely going, okay, this guy's getting lucky. He's going to make a bet that's too big, and we're just going to bust his balls the second he does. And it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to be here the entire time, gambling, making more money, and there's not a damn thing they can do to stop me. Double down! Uh, yeah, we'll stay. Dude. Hey, I'm stealing all your money over here. Are you gonna come kick me out? Uh, we're almost there. They're almost about to kick me out. Damn, what a jackass. Double down. Double down on that. That's what I thought. The game, I'll be back in a second to grab something to munch on. Fair enough. We're going to be gambling for a minute, probably, so... Is it really gambling at this point? Or, or is it just guaranteed? I mean... Hit me. Hit me. Double down. Damn it. 17. Not good enough. Uh, hit me. Play it where I lies. Damn. Really running my pockets here. Double down. Uh, double down. Here, come kick me out. I'm over 10,000 caps. Okay, pal, you've had <laughs> enough. Time. What? Why? You've taken us. 
Thanks yep. for all the money. Hello. Beautiful done enough to spread. Welcome to the tops. How can uh, I'd like to turn in my chips, please. Pay me in caps. Thanks. Later, loser. What are we looking at caps wise now? Twenty six thousand? I don't know. We're feeling a little light. We're feeling a little light in the pockets. I don't know. Do you guys think our pockets are looking a little light? I think they're looking a little light. And uh, we're probably fine. Um, at least for now. Uh... I meant to go to actual good springs, not here. Okay, this is better. Damn. Sonny, you've seen better days. You may want to lay off the sauce. You looking to buy some... You know I am. Another satisfied customer. Later, loser. Um, hold on. Okay, uh, but that would jingle jangle all around because with with twenty six thousand twenty six twenty six thousand caps in your pockets, it really would. Um, oh, I need to look something up real quick. Um, it's about the game. <laughs> The game crash okay no it didn't thank god Okay. Apparently I can buy armor there too. So Gun runners. Well, you have armor? Sir. You do. Works for me. Uh, do you have any aid? No, you don't. Um, there was. Nah, nah, we don't need that yet. Goodbye. There we go. 
Now we're looking good armor wise. Alright, so we got Power Fist, Revolver, Rebar Club, Rifle, Nade Launcher. Alright. Now, now, we can head to Zion. Actually, before we head to Zion, there's one more thing we need to do. Nope, I have to go. I'm gonna do my AT homework. See you for now, dude. See you, man. Uh -huh. God, I've been streaming for three hours and haven't even actually started the DLC yet. I mean, I guess we did once, but that we don't talk about that attempt. You're back. Um, I would like to buy an implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. What surgery are you considering? Um, I would like the regenerating ability. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant. Here's the caps. Thanks. Now we should endurance implant, increase our endurance by one. Uh, and now we slowly regenerate lost hit points. We were at 231, now we're at 232. Boom. That's great. I mean, kind of. 233, look at that. We're going up. Uh, let's go ahead and accept the... Where is it? Alright. Now let's go do Honest Hearts. Let's try not to shoot anybody this time. not shoot walk through or whatever his name is Yippee there'll be no wedding bells for today I got balls that jingle, jangle, jingle. All right. Now listen here. How do friend? Let's do it. Let's just go. Let's go. You yes, I'm yeah. sure. Ah, finally, we can actually start this. <laughs> the paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know mm -hmm. much about them, except that and I can't skip this, can I? Sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites—they were honest traders, good fighters too. 
Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Mal Pace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk God. about God. And he's got such an ass. Look at that thing. Guess I can't blame him. Honka the honka. The, dam, the Malpace legged finally met his My bad. I know he's a man of God. Shouldn't talk about him like that. But right back over. But he wasn't then. He was a slaver then. An example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place... Came legends of the burned, the burned man, man walking the wastes. Mm -hmm. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Maybe. All right, okay. Peter. I'm quick saving right here, right now. But here we are. In Sorry. case I accidentally shoot I that guy in the it. dick again. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. Is Pip Boy? Keep an eye or my Pip trials. Boy? Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. God damn it, ambush! Cover people! Watch yourself! <laughs> I don't deserve this. Oh damn. I swear to God, Discord, I will mute you right now. Rip Jed. Oh well, um, this is all mine now. You too, bud. There's a lever action shotgun in here. Spiked knuckles meeting people? Hell yeah. Okay. How much damage does this thing do? 30? Okay, that's not bad. Ugh. Nice. We're gonna take that 9 iron too. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. And I need to see, is that what I think it is? 
It is. This is a, just a whole ass Thompson. See, he shot at me first. White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. See, th you that's why I shot him last time. 100% that is why I shot him last time. He shot me. Joshua will want to hear about this. Who is Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. All right, let's go. Insists. Well stacked. Uh, and hmm. Oh, come on, follow shock. See that log? Log yeah, I know. Hollowed logs. Look, there might be some good stuff tucked in there. Keep up the pace, follows Chalk. For a while. Nice view of the river. Eh. Freeze. <laughs> that was some kind of lucky. Guess that one Yeah, no, hold on. I'm going to show you some real luck. <laughs> Don't get used to it though. Yaogwai are plenty mean as a rule. You can take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. Oh, oh, oh. Did I just one shot that Yaogwai cub? Where's mom at? Huh. All right, come on, follow Chuck. How much carry weight do we have? 280. Holy shit. I need to get some power armor like yesterday. We got the weight to be carrying power armor and big guns. We need to be fucking you see using the dead it. Sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about it. What's that you're going off about? I'm slaughtering the wildlife. Um, yeah, no offense, but I was not paying attention to you at all, and please start over. Ooh. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. When. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that. Like the shadow of a ghost. Like the shadow of a... Man. You need, uh, you need to talk to some bitches if that's how you're talking. Like the shadow of a ghost. You watch too much anime. God, go outside. Touch some grass. Fucking loser. Hang on. You're going the wrong way. That, so it would seem, so it would seem. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. 
You no, know, I don't mind. I mean, your mom stays that way whenever I'm around. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came. Sounds like Joshua's a hell of a fucking leader. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh? Man, I didn't even notice these the first time through. Is this even... That's because this is not the same place I went the first time. That's why. I went up there the first time because I, I just needed to retrieve the map and leave. What the hell are we doing over here? I thought this seemed like a lot shorter of a walk. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there. No wonder I couldn't find Joshua Graham. We weren't even at the right fucking camp. Two bears high fiving. That's a hell of a name. I wish I had a name as manly as two bears high fiving. Oi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham? I am. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. No, I just kind of inferred. Joshua in high place of cave. You sh I'll be on my best behavior then. Let's go meet the man, the myth, the legend himself. We there should he have is. A better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group. More just you allusions to that courier. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion. Even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Um, how do you know so the much about what happened to me? Capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. I came here to make contact with the new Canaanites. Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. Always White Caesar. Legs join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. Convenient. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. Uh, I'm not going to leave without You're offering a good help. To us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Well, I'll see what Thank I can do. You. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Okay. Um, hold on. I want to say there's a back exit out this cave, and I want to say around this back exit somewhere is... Isn't there one of those stashes somewhere around here? Yeah, survival cache. 
Uh, 40 millimeter, 9 millimeter rounds, cool bobby pins. Um, yeah. Dynamite, flamer fuel, frag nade. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those survival caches are really good. I don't know where a lot of them are, but whew, they are, they are good. Okay, well, let's just mosey our way down here. Uh, okay, looks like we can kind of head in any direction here. No, yeah, okay, I, I know where we are, kind of. Bet they don't oh. have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? You ever heard of a death claw, motherfucker? Let me tell you, have you ever crossed paths with a death claw? Death claws are way worse than Yao Guai. Do not even try me. Do not even. Thanks, Follow Shock. Oh well. Boy car, lunchbox, crash scout bus, okay. Ace, lunchbox. Homeboy is just tearing through the wildlife. I don't have to do shit. So, what do we need here? For a compass. Broken compass. Uh, repair it. Holy crap, dude. If you need help, just say so. Homie's just tearing through everything. He doesn't need me at all. That's the main character up there. Follows Chalk is the main goddamn character, not me. The fuck? Um. Let's see. Turn our medicine up another five. Um. Turn our lockpick up to 70. Okay. Now what do we got now? Uh, piercing strike. That's right. Piercing strike. That's what we got last time. I don't give a damn about armor. I'll punch him in the dick. No questions asked. Giant rat. God. Someone tell the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that Splinter's fucking... He's off his meds and he's escaped the nursing home again. That killed me? What did so much damage? What the fuck did so much damage? Yep, homeboys over there popping off as usual.
Like, come over here, punch the giant rat. Does that mantis really just do that much goddamn damage? Apparently it's made of paper, though. Duct tape, conductor, turpentine. Hell yeah. Ooh, toolbox. Mm, what do we got up here? Park ranger hat. What do I need to do? Design fishing lodge for walkie talkies. Wait, didn't I do that a while ago? Didn't I f go to the fishing lodge and find those walkie-talkies a while ago as well? I want to say that's something I did. Like, before, whenever we killed Fellow's Chalk. Yep, just ease her, go ease her down. Keep her going. Probably not a whole lot of shit here. There are caps, though. You look like you need to shit, or you already shit your pants. Oh god. They just folded me, Jesus Christ. What the hell? And then I'm all the way back here because I don't know how to quick save for some goddamn reason. Whatever. It's fine. Um, we're going to up our guns, though. Make them more effective instead. And obviously, we don't need piercing strike. Maybe 30 extra hit points will help us out. Holy shit. Okay. Round three. Now that I really don't even need to be up here. Okay, that hurt a little. Ow. What the... Had a bladed gauntlet. Oh. 
The these are friendlies. I need to stop punching them. That guy is running for his goddamn life. Come here, boy. I'm getting real sick and tired of this shit. <laughs> well, um, you know, honestly, I think that's just God saying in the stream right now. So I will catch you guys uh, next time I decide to stream this, I guess. Goodbye. <laughs>